hello guys so right now we'll be looking at um, the interface of corridor the first thing you want to do you open corridor I already have corridor saved a corridor 2019 and um, you can see it on my tax bar here you may have it on your desktop wherever you have it after you install it you go to where you have it and you open it so when you open corridor um, the interface opens from 2017 upward yours may not be like this but once you open it you have an interface that is asking you uh, what you want to do here it's asking if I want to open a new document or I want um, or I want to open a document that I've opened before but right now because we are just starting I'm going to be opening a new document so once you want to have an open new document open you click in the new document it asks you uh, the setting for the new document where we have you can put the name of the document let's say interface yes interface and um, preset custom what you whatever what do you want I suggest just leave it as cost um, custom number of pages one for now primary color code CMYK or RGB now let me explain this CMYK is cyan magenta um, cyan magenta yellow and um, black so that's cyan magenta yellow and black so these are the four colors that are always mixed together to bring out whatever design now this is this color is used for prints so if you want if you are if you are designing for print you can leave it at that but if you are designing for online you use RGB although whatever you choose you can still change it when you are saving but you can just do your design right like this and if you don't have this interface on your own before you start I will still show you how to do that so once you do it let's say I want a for this the page size where you choose the page size you want the page size to be either a4 a5 these are the print custom size if I want to go online most times for online because most uh, pages is good to use for example you want to post on Instagram or um, Facebook I suggest that if you are posting directly on your news feed you use a square so you can say 8 by 8 so if you use 8 by 8 it will be squared and it will come out here as custom for the measurement I love using inches except if it's pictures so resolution 300 dpi for print you can use for RGB 72 but I can still leave it like this so if I click OK my page comes up so here is the page how it looks like but if for example you did you don't have that come up for you what you can do is you come up here to file now this is the menu this is the menu screen so you come here to file and you click on new then it comes out this way so the same thing so it comes out for you so now we are on uh, we are inside uh, Corel draw so Corel Draw is a vector based um, is a vector based software that you use to design unlike Photoshop or some other basically uh, Photoshop you use that majorly that is a pixels based pixel based pixels based software so for Corel Draw you use it for different kind you can use it for different kind of design print layout um, online logo design and all that so it's a very good software also and um, although in in the industry these days outside in Nigeria most print are still use this to uh, print but then uh, I, there are some people who prefer uh, an Adobe software just like Corridor is called Adobe Illustrator but for this training we'll be looking at Corridor interface so here is the interface and you can see up here we have the menu and in the menu you have the file edit view layout object effects bitmaps text tables tools window help purchase purchase because I'm using the evaluation version so 
uh, you may not have if you are using a lower version you may not have all these things complete but this basically everything you need will be here too it's just on the menu bar here so in the file that is where you have new if you want to create new new from a template that is a template that is installed on corridor open is to open a new file a file that you have worked on before open recent i have that here these are the works i've done before then we have we want to close it if you want to save uh if you want to acquire an image import import is when you want to bring in an image or you want to bring in um a document into corridor that you want to work on export is if you want to export for where for anything then also you can export um there is export here but it's not showing because i've not worked on anything this export is used when you want to send something out we'll get there so uh, he, this that's just it for edit so you have um if you want to edit what you are working on but most of these things also have shortcut view we have view presently we are using the enhance but if you want the wireframe view that means it will have a line around it but let's just use um, this is the normal view it has like a but well, let's use the enhanced yeah so it's good like that and um, basically this menu bar are uh, where you can change some things generally on the design then we now have the properties bar properties bar is showing you the properties of the tools you are using now on the left side here you are having what we call the tools bar that these are basically the things you'll be using for your design and on the right we have the color palette where you choose color so the first we have the pick tool what is the work of the pick tool as the word implies the pick tool is used to pick we have this um shape tool you use it to shape i'll show you briefly now we have the crop tool we have the zoom tool so say um we have the artistic media tool and wherever you see an arrow down it's showing you there's more inside so if you click you have shape tool, you have smooth smear twirl attract and repel smudge a lot of tools here that you can use so let's just try one of these tools here is the rectangle to say i want to do a rectangle i can just pick a rectangle let's imagine i want to do um, an online flyer i can pick the rectangle here is the rectangle and draw the size i want now if i want the rectangle to fill the whole page what i do is double click once you double click you have your rectangle filling the whole page now this is a circle so the circle once you 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 click on it and you drag over where you want to design if you hold down the shift and you drag everything is everything is dragged in the same proportion mm? so let's say i i drag and i put in the center I'm, i want to do a design then we have the polygon tool you click you can draw your polygon now with the customer the custom the custom size is having five sides now in the properties bar here you can see that it comes with five but you can reduce it to four three or you can increase it to as much as it's like 100 <laughs> and it comes back to it's um to um, a circle yeah if you comes to a circle like that you understand so you can also reduce it say to like three then you have a triangle so that's the property for for the circle if you look at the properties too you you can you have a pie if you want it as a pie and from this pie you can get a semicircle if you want it to be a semicircle you just work on you reduce this from this menu here once you click on it uh you keep clicking until it gets to what you want you click 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 you click it until it gets to what you want see you have a semicircle mm -hmm. so you see you have a semicircle there right so you can do a whole lot of things with it so this is the text tool so you click on it and you type let's say assignment 
once you finish typing you can go back to your pick tool and take take it anywhere you want now let me explain one thing for corel draw is the way it is designed is this page where you have the rectangle that is your work that is where you place um, your design for print for export but you can work anywhere you can decide to work outside the, the the page then bring whatever you worked on on the page that's how beautiful it is so as I finish writing the assignment I can decide to do a simple design with its assignment put it inside the pie now I've, if you check our video where we talked about principles of design these are the places where you use the principles of design that we talk about but we'll go into that shortly now this is also uh, we have the drop shadow tool if you click here inside the drop shadow we have all that tools that you can use we have the contour blend this distort tool envelope tool extrude tool, block shadow as you explore this software you begin to get used to some of these just try your hand on any let's say i want to add shadow to this um, triangle let me fill it with a color if you want to fill with a color you come to the color uh, palette here and let's say I'm filling it with a yellow if you now have filled it now there is an outline there if you want outline hmm, if you want outline there you leave it if you don't want outline you come here and you right click once you right click sorry you come here you right click once you right click the outline goes if you want an outline you come to a color that you want you right click again it comes but if you don't want any color you come to this null and you right click so I don't want the color I can right click and I come to um, drop shadow I click on it now we have presets here because I told you you know this is the properties bar on, on the presets what you can do is once you click the drop down arrow you can now choose the style that you want for your, the shadow look at it so let's say I want the shadow to feel from the from the floor here yeah perspective top right see it so I can adjust the way the shadow is so and here also I can adjust the size the feather is like one I can make I can increase it see then I can increase the thickness or I can reduce it too so that's what you can do there and just what I was doing there you can also do it here too or you can reduce it so that is that for the shadow let's say I want to do I want to use um, if I want to use the the I love I love this tool envelope tool is good for perspective for example let's say I want to change the perspective you know from the word perspective the way we are looking at things that is perspective if you want to increase whatever you have you are you are doing you can use the arrow you drag from the side please don't drag from the middle except you want to create your own effect it will not it will not be proportional it will not be um, well it will be draggy hmm? so I suggest that once you want to drag you drag from the side and that is it so if I want to change the perspective how we look at it I can use the envelope tool and this is the property I come here to a straight line I want a straight line I can drag it see that's changed the perspective the way we are looking at it also if I want it to be hack mode I can click here that makes it you can curve it you can curve it if you look at what when we are talking about design I talked about movement the other time this is a form of movement so let's say I fill this with a gray background and I can fill this with a white yeah so that's some of the things we can do this is a transparent transparency tool but in some version the transparency tool is not on its own you will find it in the drop shadow 
menu here you will find the transparency too if you can't find it outside some other versions find it inside we have the extrude tool what the extrude tool does is to give it a 3d feel so if i want to extrude this assignment i choose the extrude tool and i come here you see so i can reduce it i can reduce the way it is i can also change the colors here i can do a lot of things i can change the color i can change the color but as depending on what you want to do but as you explore you are going to get used to it we have the color dropper tool if i want to change the color choose a color i can choose it so once i choose immediately the um, the paint bucket shows up then i can drop the paint bucket anywhere i want it you understand now when you choose a tool and you don't want that tool again or you want to go back to the format tool you are using click space just space on your keyboard then you have you go back to your pick tool space now we have um, the interactive field tool what does this do this one makes you to be able to to have a gradient kind of color gradient field gradient is having two colors matched together so if i choose the triangle and i choose the gradient feel i can come here this is the this is also the properties it's asking me how i want it if i want it fountain feel that means two colors here we have a yellow and white most times it will come out as white but if you want to change the color you come to where you want to change for example i want to change this white i will just click on the white then let's say i want to change it to a red then it becomes red and yellow and um, I can manipulate it as I want. I can manipulate it as I want. So, you see, we have a beautiful um, work here. So, that's basically the interface of Corel Draw. On the window side, if you have something you've not, you want to use the workspace, that like we have default workspace, but if you want to choose another one, you can choose light. That's for um this version light will just bring out some other properties but i always leave it as default and you can leave yours also there so what you can do now what you can do what you can do now is let's just do something very simple uh before i finish this um let's use the default okay so with what we have with what we have done with what we have chosen we can we can still do some beautiful stuff here let me wait for this to finish loading up okay so so here i want to remove this assignment i want to remove this i want to remove this let's just do a simple design very simple design all right so here i have the page but i think i don't want this gradient let me just do a white yeah white and let's just do something creative so let's do um a bold text um brown and let's have culture so our, one of the principle of design that we can just use here we can use the white space brown culture so we make it bold this bold and we have brown culture now if you want to bring in an image what you can do is you go to file open okay and say you want an image let's say you want to advertise a product let's see i think i have some images here or you just want to send a message all right let's say you want to advertise this so you come up here you click on it oh sorry file if you want to bring in come to file import or control i hmm? so if you you go to where your image is if it's on your desktop you click desktop there for me what i want is in my um is here where i am going you can see the images here 
and let's choose this image again and here if you just click once it comes the normal size hmm? but if you don't want it to come the normal size if you click it once it comes at its normal size but you can also adjust it so immediately you say import now since i've imported from that place it goes right to where i last imported so if i click on import then i click i, I left click and drag it comes to the size that i want exactly so let's say i want this okay brown culture so these are some of the things i use but since we are using brown culture okay let's just say let's not use brown culture let's say um let's say um orange or fresh fresh then we can now say by let's use a small typeface by green life green life limited green life limited okay so how do we do a beautiful design with this just something simple so fresh now when you are when you are designing one of the we talked about repetition the other time one of the ways you can do repetition here is the color now there is a green on this leaf so i can look for a close green we have orange and we can i can use yellow or this orange and if i can't get an exact color i come to this eyedropper i click on this color and once i have it i put it on this no best you can zoom in okay i didn't talk about the zoom the zoom tool is here or you press z once you choose it you drag over where you want to design so once you finish dragging you go back to your picture so that you can continue with what you are doing the eyedropper tool again click on a part that you want then note every color you use shows under here so that you can always use it again right so uh, let me zoom in again i just press z for that now this was the last color so if you click on the color it comes out then f3 goes back to the previous so fresh now fonts for example i looked at this font and i don't like the font fresh up here is where you have the properties for front so you can change the front font here if i choose times new roman but for this kind the word fresh tells me i want something that flows so a cursive font so i can just make it small letters you know how to do that on your keyboard with your caps lock so if i say fresh then i come um i look at something that is flowing. okay i think i like this fresh so can have fresh here and we can put it on it and make it white now it is it is not showing up because it is under so to do that to change that you come and you right click order to back of page okay order to back of page so we are fresh right fresh and we can say fresh by green light to make this beautiful reduce this um, to say 12 fresh by green life so you have a design mm -hmm. so we have white space f9 you can bring everything up with f9 